sport. The Queen it. Fish, but Guria with the white blinkers is trying to reach them. And now Brother Nero, the one we've pointed in the yellow colours, is coming out of the ruck with a big run. And even here, 200 metres out, it's obvious that he's got them covered. Further out on the track in the red cap and the purple sleeves is Razu. Brother Nero grabs the lead in the shadows of the post. And with jockey Sammy Metsa-Salma wielding the persuader vigorously, Brother Nero draws away to beat Guria. In third place was Razu and close up green with envy. Now, we're only showing highlights from yesterday's meeting. This is the fourth race, the second leg of the extra double. It's the open sprint, the Picton. And into the straight, Real Dream kicked away from Sprightly Knight. Luskin's touch and the horse we're pointering is Manuan. Ridden yesterday by one of the lady jockeys, Miss Sandra Den. Manuan's never been an easy horse to ride. He had a tendency to duck in under pressure. Now, watch here, Manuan moving to fourth. He tries to split those two horses, Sprightly Knight and Luskin's touch, but there's not much room there. And Sandra Den has to check in very, very severely in the last 30 or 40 metres of the race. But all honours to the winner, Real Dream, well ridden by apprentice Michael Zarb. First leg of the Daily Double is the Sutherland Handicap. Into the straight and Borovansky is the leader and turns for home in front of Prince de Volley. Calm Sir down the outside with the brown sleeves. On his inside with the orange cap is the odds-on favourite Roy Ohm. And the pointer horse so different, which was badly chopped out at the top of the straight. And I thought he did a remarkable job so different to get up and run second. Here he comes now. Mount Tambu down the outside is finishing best of all though. He had his momentum up, whereas so different lost his momentum. And Mount Tambu beats so different with Calm Sir third. Now the Heathcote handicap, race seven, second leg of the daily double, and it's like Custer's last stand on the turn into the straight. Over on the inside, Blazing Fury just led Astra Star. Now the one we're pointering is the ultimate winner, Noble Connection, who came from a long way back in the field, and what's the finish he puts in over the last hundred metres or so? Now, uh, Blazing Fury and Astra Star are fighting it out. Hermod with the white blaze is grabbing them, but right down the outside, Noble Connection is finishing brilliantly under the vigorous riding of Brett Grant, and Noble Connection swamped the leaders and came away to win at odds of nine to two, beating Hermod, and Northern Reward eventually got up to run third. That little grey horse, so different, should have gone very close to winning yesterday, in my opinion. He hasn't run a bad race this time in, and he's certainly a black book special, and it won't be long before he rings up number one. Give up.